Hey, what's going on guys? It's Keda here and here is the DC UPS that I have designed. So here is the AC input for this UPS and the three indicating LEDs pan and here is the USB to program this UPS. It has Arduino inside it. So let's power it up and see. So I used 12 volts and 7 amps per hour battery so it can last uh, for my application about 2 hours with no problem so as you can see it is live and let me show you the voltage at the output. Currently, I have set this up to 19.4 volts. So we are getting perfectly 9.4 volts. So inside this UPS, and of course, and of course, you can power this with AC to charge. And the Arduino will maintain. Uh, whether or not to charge this battery so let me get into the circuit of this inverter real quick ok so inside this inverter at the input stage of 240 volts I have installed bridge rectifier uh, in this case I have used uh, the ready made laptop charger which gives me 19.4 volts directly and then I have used this uh, lead acid battery then at the output of this battery I have connected DC to DC boost converter so I can able to boost it up to my particular application which is uh, 19 volts 19.5 volts actually and then we have Arduino here to control this whole UPS uh, the charging cycles the Arduino has indicators, three indicators to show the charging status. The another task of this Arduino is uh, that whenever the battery is full, then the Arduino will turn off the relay that is going in between this rectifier. So the battery will not be charged anymore since the Arduino has detected the battery voltage is uh, it's up to maximum which is I set it up to 13.4 volts which is uh, the cutoff voltage for lead acid batteries and uh, to detect the battery voltage levels I use this uh, voltage divider so my maximum voltage is 13.4 volts of my battery then uh, I have connected this uh, middle terminal to one of the analog ports of uh, my Arduino and uh, to this and this side you, my battery is connected so basically this voltage divider will provide me nice and clean voltage uh, from 0 to 4.9 volts which is uh, must essential, essential for the ADC which is used in this Arduino so that's pretty much all about the circuit and uh, there is uh, some intelligent programming involved in the Arduino which uh, detects the voltage levels and turns off on and off the relay and uh, this is also nice UPS DC UPS particularly cause uh, as you can see here uh, we don't have control over the connection between the battery and the DC to DC boost converter so whether if if there is any pro problem in the controlling circuit uh, in that case also the power will be not shut off it will continuously continuously convert the battery voltages into the 
DC voltages that you have set it. So let me show you what uh, DC to DC converter I have used. So at the output stage I have used this uh, step up boost converter from eBay which I got. It is uh, pretty good I think it is a uh, 150 watts DC to DC boost converter and uh, it has this uh, chip right here uh, which does maintain the voltage uh, pretty good but uh, although you need at least minimum of uh, 12 volts to power it up of course you can go right down below up to 10.8 volts but it's uh, nice to have the the windowed voltage that you should keep and uh, to charge the lead acid battery i have used this uh, dc to dc boost uh, sorry buck converter uh, which is lm2596 best this uh, one and it can easily handle 4 amps so not a problem to charge a normal single lead acid batteries and here is the lead acid battery as you can see it's excited chloride save power 12 volts 7 amps per hour and uh, the maximum standby use is 13.6 to 13.8 but just I have used the 13.4 uh, volts for my cutoff uh, of course I can utilize up to 14.4 volts right now I'm going to show you what is inside my UPS so let's open it up and see okay so we are inside this inverter as you can see here is the laptop charger uh, which converts to 40 volts into 19 volts and uh, here is the DC to DC boost converter I showed you earlier and uh, this is the buck converter to charge the battery and here is Arduino Pro Mini here and uh, probably guess this is the relay and uh, I didn't explain about that I will explain in a minute about that why I use this relay and this another component which you can see here so this component is a AC voltage detector in which I have used this circuit so we have 240 volts here and 0.1 microfarad capacitor in series and another 100k in series with this opto isolator so when there is a voltage on this line it will turn on this optical isolator and we have 5 volts onto the this terminal of iso isolator and uh, another terminal is connected to analog port which can detect the voltage and this is the pretty safe method that uh, I have found to detect the AC voltage okay so as you can see we have the relay here and the transformer which I didn't explain so these two components are connected for the automatic cutoff circuit for my battery how it works is really easy I have the relay here and the transformer and uh, at the relay coils as you can see I have connected this flyback diode uh, which is essential uh, you probably know it to reduce the back EMF uh, to negligible as you can see and uh, here is the digital port connection of my Arduino so whenever my Arduino turns on this relay so uh, this is 5 volt relay it can work with Arduino easily so when my Arduino turn on this relay the normally open terminal is uh, shifted 
and as you can see the circuit is completed like this and we get current into this circuit and rectify rectify rectifies it and charges the battery in this way my arduino can control the charging of my battery with the ac voltage and uh, this is pretty efficient way because uh, you know you can turn it on and off with your arduino i have another scr uh, connected here as you can see it is a it is a bta 16 600 b so i just connected uh, it yet but uh, it it is not connected into the circuit right now but the idea is that the relays right now makes uh, noise when it shifted from on and off but so i want to reduce that noise so that's why i use this scr silicon controlled rectifier which is uh, just similar to this but you don't need to use that kind of circuit anymore you can do this by just giving pulses to your uh, gate of your scr uh, and uh, the another two terminals mt1 and mt2 uh, you will get the conductivity in both directions since this is bi-directional scr so that's uh, the whole point of this uh, video today guys so hope you enjoyed this video guys uh, i know you have lots of questions about this power supply and if you have one please post it in the comments down below and uh, please thumbs up this video guys if you didn't like it then thumbs down but uh, it's up to you so goodbye friends thanks for watching peace